Okay, so finally when it comes to watchOS 9, I would be happy to let you know that the first beta since moving on to weekly releases of this update has now been released, which brings us to exactly watchOS 9 beta 6. At the time I'm recording this video, it's available to public beta testers and developer beta testers. So this is an update that you can update to and it does have quite a number of changes that are worth noting. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you all there is to know about watchOS 9 beta 6. My name is Ben and this is Half Man Half Tech. So first things first, as you can see here, this update came for me on my Apple Watch Series 7 at exactly 183 megabytes and I was updating from watchOS 9 beta 5. Now in order for you to update your device, you do need an Apple Watch Series 4 or newer and the iPhone that's paired with your Apple Watch is supposed to be an iPhone that supports iOS 16. So you need an iPhone 8 and newer and then you'll be able to update your device. And also, obviously, this is not all that Apple released today. In fact, if we go to the Apple developer page here, you will see that quite a number of updates were released. So iOS as well as iPadOS 16 beta 6 were just released today to developers and to public better testers however there is no mac os 13 beta 6 yet it could be that since mac os according to bloomberg is going to be delayed by almost a month perhaps mac os hasn't yet moved on to weekly releases yet and obviously we got watch os 9 beta 6 and tvOS 16 beta 6. Most of these updates I do cover here on the channel at Half Men Half Tech. So if that's something that interests you and you want to keep up to date with the latest and greatest from these updates and from your devices on what you can do with them, then definitely do subscribe so that you don't miss out. Now, as you can see here, I've just updated my Apple Watch and you can see that it's up to date right here. So let's quickly go into the about this watch section and see what are the changes i usually like this grid view so we'll go into settings go to general and go to the about this watch section and the first thing you note here is that the build has been updated it's 20r 5353a so that has been updated from the previous one that we had which was 20r 5343e so we went from an e to an a good changes here now in terms of what's new or what's been updated with this watchOS 9 beta 6 coming from beta 5, the first thing that I have to mention to you or show you is that basically this update feels polished and more refined compared to the previous beta. You can actually change your watch faces faster, be it the new ones or be it selecting new screens. You can see how fast it loads up. You can see if I was to add this astronomy, it pops up right away unlike before and the issue with, with this uh, watch face here where the time was being obstructed has also been removed and it's not just this watch face i've been testing it out with multiple watch faces including the new ones that came with watch waste 9 and overly this update just feels a little bit better now there's also a bug that i experienced at some point during my update you can see that while i was trying to update it did mention that diagnostics are in flight perform the following and when I click send feedback it took me to the feedback assistant app and I highly think that this could have an issue or be related to the developer mode now as you can see here on the Apple developer page there is a developer mode that before testing your software on your device you are supposed to enable and I was testing it out just to see how it works and seeing you know what it has to offer and when I went to update my Apple watch that's when the screen popped up. So just something to let you know, it's not a new change, but it's something that I thought I should let you know of. Now also the, with this update, when it comes to Siri, I should let you know that my Siri has an updated strange voice. Now you can see that Siri dictation is actually so accurate. And let me just let you know how my Siri is sounding like. So I won't say the phrase, of course, to not trigger your device. But just hear this. PM. 
so that's a bit weird it's actually not just siri you can see even that the time dictation has also been affected by this voice my siri sounds like that my time dictation sounds like that so it could be more of an issue instead of a change that's here with this update but also something that i thought i should put out there now something also that i want to let you know if you have an iphone and also an apple watch series 6 or series 7 and you have the mirroring feature i've been getting quite a number of requests just to see and show you how this mirroring feature works so as you see here on my iphone i just went into settings and then i went into accessibility right here and then you will see here apple watch mirroring and if i turn it on on beta 6 you can see how fast it actually connects compared to beta 5 you can always compare the speed from my previous video that i posted and it's so smooth that it just works you can see here i can tap the side button and i can move around and for you to be able to mirror your apple watch to your iphone and be able to perform functions or tasks like i'm doing right here you actually need an apple watch series 6 or series 7 and an iphone that has already been updated to ios 16 so that's a question that i get most of the time but it seems to be working so smooth and so fast you can see the latency delay compared to beta 4 and beta 5 has been improved with this update you can see it's almost instant compared to where i'm coming from so that's something that's good with this update now something also that i want to show you or share with you when it comes to this watch os 9 has to do with the weather app and weather notification it could be that you set it on your iphone or on your watch if you set for your notifications on for extreme weather condition for a specific region apple can actually take that region and associate it with your apple id so that is also just some minor changes that came to this watch os 9 developer and public beta 6. now when it comes to some of the resolved issues that i hear with this update it says here devices running beta 4 or later aren't backward compatible with devices running earlier beta version so that has now been resolved with this update and can communicate with devices that haven't yet been updated now other than that those seems to be the resolved issues when it comes to this update and when it comes to a known issue that i know that still here with this update if i was to just go to youtube and play like a random video let's say for example i play this mr beast video sometimes on my apple watch i was having issues where it's unresponsive but with this update it seems to be responsive almost 50 percent of the time but it's not yet there and other than that my notifications are coming in and it seems to be good on that end and this is mainly all the changes that i have to mention when it comes to watch os 9 beta 6 if you do see some other changes or some new changes do let me know in the comment section below and i'll test them out and if if I see something that's major or drastic that you definitely need to know about then i'll let you know in the comment section below or on my social media handles when it comes to when we could be seeing the next beta which is watch os 9 beta 7 definitely expect that update next week perhaps on the 22nd or 23rd and then when it comes to the official release of watch os 9 to the general public where you don't have to be on a beta to be able to enjoy most of these new features and changes look forward to that update sometime in september perhaps on the sep on the 12th of september or on the 18th of september that's when we highly expect this update to come out but at this time it's still speculating since apple hasn't really said much but really other than that that's how this watch os 9 beta 6 came in for me on my apple watch if you like this video definitely do leave a like and if you haven't subscribed a sub to the channel would be great now stay safe and i'll see you in the next video peace